A time comes when even the deliverer needs deliverance. A time comes when even the pastor is crying. I preach about you, but it's been long I have not encountered you. The more you advance in church leadership, the more carnal you become. Christianity is full of a lot of politics, a lot of gimmicks. The reason why these things have prevailed is because we have taken away the place of an experience with God. We can never be able to encounter God with all kinds of gimmicks. Everything we do, we fail us. Why? Because God cannot be taught. God can only be revealed. And the revelation of God is a prerogative only for himself. God chooses to reveal himself to whosoever he dare to. It's not your right. It's a privilege. And so paraventure, if you know a protocol to which you can do to bring God to your vicinity, please hold it there. Wise men understood that their life did not constitute in the abundance of the things they have, rather upon the God they can carry and host. The emphasis is not just to know God, it's to host him. You can know God and not be able to keep him in your vicinity. Men once upon a time knew God, but they have lost him. One thing I know about God is that it's very easy for you to be familiar with him. You wonder why you began your journey in God, and yet again you love God so dearly. You encounter him all the time. Now it seems as if he's very far from you. Why is God far from you? It's not because he doesn't love you. It's because you have become too familiar with him. And familiarity always provokes familiar spirit. Anything you become familiar with, you lose value for it. And that is the reason why if you come to a point in time where you feel that this is just the presence of God. Anytime I appear, God will show. You have failed. At that point of pride and arrogance, feeling that you have God in your pocket and you can put him in a story tap, you have failed. Because when God appears, the best of us need to also cast his crown. And that is the reason why men only cast their crown in the place of worship. In the point of demonstration of power, you see the excellency of men. But when we come to worship, everybody become equal. When, we are, when I began to worship, I usher you into a realm where me and you are equal. But you see, later on, when I begin to manifest power, you will now look at yourself as though you are weaker vessels and I'm the stronger vessel. But what you don't know, that the strength to which I manifest what I manifested came from a citadel of an atmosphere. I'm trying to let you understand the intention of God is not to have one superman. He was done with that with Moses. From the days of Moses, that has ended. God himself wanted the children of Israel to know his ways. But they wanted to know the act. We are living in a generation where everybody cares about the act of God. Nobody cares to know the ways of God. So we have so many papas and everybody is a vagabond. You see, vagabond not in the sense that they don't have a father, but I'm saying that everybody is ostracized from the presence of God. Everybody is cut off from the presence of God as though God is not their father. You wonder how much you have a father you can never communicate with him. You are not far from an orphan. And let me tell you the sincere truth. There are some realms in this operation that only God can communicate to you. If you don't know God, you don't know God. We are in the last days. In the last days, only those that know the Lord, their God, can be strong and do exploit. I preach in his name. I cast out demons in his name. It's a statement everybody will say. But only those that truly know him, he knows them. If God does not know, he doesn't know you. How many pastors are depressed? How many ministers are oppressed? How many are depressed? It's an evidence that they don't know God. The true testament of your knowledge of God is the transformation in your life. It doesn't matter how much power you manifest and you carry. I'm not contradicting power because this is what I will display tonight. But I'm trying to let you understand the source of power itself does not come from strength. It comes from weakness. Everything you see when it comes to the functionality of God is what men impact us in the secret place. You don't appear in the secret place as a strong man. You appear as a weak man. Why? Because all of us are weak men enabled by God. The reason to which you need God is because you are laden with all kinds of infirmity. When you check through scripture, everyone that God called, God used, they are not qualified. Everybody qualified was far from God, including the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Why? They knew so much and they could not give space for God. Your Bible school, your theology has the ability to push God far. 
it's very possible and that is why you must be able to understand it with the spirit that gives life why the flesh profit nothing everything you are studying in your mind we gravitate to empowering your mind if you are not careful i assure you the bible says walking in the flesh is a mind set on the things of the flesh walking in the spirit is a mind set on the things of the spirit but one of the greatest challenge of the mind is that it has the ability to conform you faster to the flesh than to the spirit you can know so many things right now read it we have bible studies here all the time and go out here and see you cannot operate obey 10 percent of what you have been taught the pop week is a very stressful week you have gone through all kinds of modicums of knowledge i guarantee you if you can obey and apply the things that you have written just 10 percent of it your life will change but you'll be shocked and surprised that as you leave this place you will dust that book and never open it again for those that open it they open it one day to preach on facebook open it to comfort or to consult or they open it to counsel somebody but yet again the person can apply that in day are suffering from it the same issue you are counseling another person you are going through the same challenge what is the evidence of your knowing that thing it means you have not intercourse the reality of what you are speaking about it's like a man that says let's pray it's not pray it's like a man that says let's give he cannot give it's because he has not come into that economy in reality so he is deprived from that reality yet again he can communicate it and because the realm of the spirit operate a legalistic ground and knowledge operate a free market zone anybody that can tap into that economy and obey it get the result of it and that is the reason why it is very possible for you to buy a book i will come and borrow it from you and read it and i will function in the reality of what is the book and you don't even know what is in the book there are people that actually have borrowed somebody else's bible and they have read it and have encountered god yet again they have not and yet again it's their bible there are people that you yourself brought to fellowship they encounter god you have not encountered god there are people that you are roommate they are growing spiritual and not growing. what is the difference the difference is that one understand the economy to assess the ways of god the other one is interested in knowing the art of god and one is very comfortable clapping for other people as they advance it. and the other one say no i am part of an assignment i am part of a clan i am part of a separated people and that introduced the context of what we call the remnant the remnant are not part of the bunch the remnant are they are not sorry they are not just only part of the bunch but they are a separated one among the bunch you need to be able to understand all of us can be in family house right now but all of us are different within the family house just the way you have different departments you have the choir you have the media you can be together yet again you are in different department it is the same way even if you go into the realm of the spirit you discover that we are all compartmentalized and that is to let you understand we are all part of the body of christ but there are people that think different there are people that within a specific kind of oppression there are people that have a well-defined mandate and anytime you meet them you know and you by default one of the only way you can thrive upon the face of the earth is to understand who resonates in keeping to the pattern of your calling and align to it and that is the reason why you must understand that you cannot behave the way you want to behave you cannot act the way you want to act because you are a called out one you are separated even among the ecclesia there is still a remnant the ecclesia is actually a called at once but not everybody called by god was sent the remnant are those that were reserved by god to be sent for a time the ecclesia actually we are called many were called few were chosen the ones that we are choosing are referred to as the remnant and everyone that is called by god yet again as an assignment those that we are choosing are the ones that god sent with a mandate everybody is a christian but not all christians have a defined mandate those that have a defined mandate are referred to as the remnant and the remnant in keeping to the operation of god are those that god preserved for the last battle army when God wants to war, he war with specific kind of people. When you speak about something, something is what? A remnant. In the entire civilization, in Israel of that time, when you want to hear about war, they know who to call. There was one that was kept, isolated from everybody, but it was kept for the days of adversity. It's referred to as a remnant. They have an army, but the army does not matter in the days of adversity. They know who to call that can guarantee a result. When you speak about david in the days of david david was a remnant he was a separated one among the entire clan and even though he was part of the family of jesse without david the family of jesse can never have a voice so when they came they were looking for everybody they suggested so many people say no there is one among this one has been isolated from the bunch 
and he has been kept and preserved by God. You don't know why your processes in life look so hard. There's a reason. You are kept as a remnant. You don't know why everybody gets certain results cheaply. Your own is hard. You are kept as a remnant. The day God wants to reveal you, it will shock and surprise you that in the days of your manifestation, your revelation, it will be an amazement. Everybody but you want to bow to you. And you see, the remnant are not always in a haste to manifest. Why? Because they are kept for the last time operation of God. It's like in the days of battle, they kept most times the best for the last. So that when the enemy thinks they are winning, suddenly they reveal another dimension. And that is to let you understand if you are the battle as of God, you are the remnant and preserved by God. When everybody is rushing, you are waiting and people don't know why you are waiting they that wait upon the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings as eagles everybody running will get tired because it is part of the prophecy that even the youth shall faint and so if you just stay you are among the youth yes again you are fire for god that's good but there's a prophecy and there are certain prophets that everybody must come through it for you to pass through beyond that prophecy there is something required and only they that wait upon the lord and now they knew their strength and mount up with wings as eagles eagles know that their strength is not forever so they know when to retreat in the days when eagles are required to retreat when they fail to retreat what happened to them is the mystery called Kadesh Benia they die many of you don't know that paraventure SCCA family house was a moment of retreat you are called out into an assembly you are called out into a remnant you are called out into a clan you are kept and be prepared for a moment but you came here and you walked like a desica. You came here, you don't want to abide to the protocol. The same way you left Olu and came to Lafia, you're operating like the person that was in Olu. The same way you left Inugu and came to Lafia, you came here, you don't want to change your culture. You don't understand that if the culture from where you come from has not given you any advantage, when you come into a clan, you must abide to the law in keeping to the clan. The only time where you stand your ground like Daniel, Shedak, Bezak, and Abednego is when you enter an antichrist system. Conformity is only supposed to be in the matters of we are supposed to refuse to conform when the other protocol in keeping to what is coming against you is what is against the law of God. But immediately you are coming from a different place and you know that where you are entering into is a civilization of Zion. You align by default. 